The next tab is buffs. Now, but these buffs here are buffs that you're going to want to use that run for long periods of time. There are two types of buffs normally in Aeon. One is for long periods of time, let's say 30 minutes or 60 minutes, and one are temporary buffs that last for maybe 5 seconds or 10 seconds. The temporary buffs are normally used in combat, and we'll come onto that in a skill editor later on in another video. However, these buffs are for, let's say, skills that last for 60 minutes or longer, or even 30 minutes, and they just improve your certain attributes. What you can do is very simple. If you, let's say, got the skill to increase your health by 10% uh, in space number 9 on your quick bar, and you enter the buff button, so you just press 9 there, and let's say the skill runs for 60 minutes, you just type in 60 there, and you press add to Q, and there you go, the skill is there. You can add as many of these as you like, and the bot will automatically do them all, which is very useful. However, please remember that these only happen out of combat, before you start running around, and before you start attacking anything. So make sure that you can easily discern the difference between uh, a large buff like this one, and a temporary buff like the ones we'll come onto later. The last section is keybinding. Key binding is fairly important because without these set up correctly, your character might not do really essential things. So, for example, loot button, rest button, and target button, these should all be left as default unless you want to change them. Make sure these are the same as they are in game. So, if let's say your loot button in game is zero, change this to zero and press save. Just make sure that everything is exactly as it is in game, otherwise, your character might not loot or rest and this can lead to problems later on. This is a major area to make sure you watch for health potions and mana potions. What will happen later on in the game when you get potions is you're going to want to put them in your quick bars and you want to use a and as we looked at earlier limits, resting HP, potion HP, etc like that. So the bot knows when to use the potion but it doesn't know where the potion is. So let's say you've got a potion in space number 5, you just press 5 there and save it and the bot will automatically press key number 5 when it wants to use a potion. The same thing goes for mana potions and out of character heal. Out of character heal, I also mentioned before for healing classes, what you could do with this is that you could specify this rather than something like herb treatment, you could specify it to something like a healing spell. So let's say I have a healing spell in key number one, I'd press one there and save it, and in the limits I asked my bot to use out of combat heal at 10%. So if after a fight my bot has 10% health, it'll automatically use the healing spell in the space number one. That's all for now, I hope you learnt something from this video. There will be plenty of others, so please come back and check them in the future. Um, we thank you very much for watching. If you have any problems or queries or even questions, uh, the AngelBot forums, the link will be in the description, so please feel free to make an account and post any questions you have, and I or any other members will be more than willing to help you out. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.